Is there any question but that when the, the Jets turn around and play Thursday night in a game that their season is over if they lose? Right. Who's your starting quarterback if both are up? Oh, both are up. I think it's obvious that Zach Wilson's going to have on a, a coat again this week. And, yeah, they're going to go with Mike White. Yeah. I think that's the obvious answer. Coat on. And as much as that uh, – that quote from Robert Sala, like, gives you pain. Again, it's the same thing I've been saying for multiple weeks, is he's not talking to you. Right. He's trying his best to encourage the quarterback that who is going to likely play is going to be Zach Wilson because he's going to be healthy and his life's not going to be at risk out there getting his chest dove through like uh, Mike White was a couple weeks ago. Again, Dan, I should have started with you for the update. Oh, no, I mean, what right. information do we have as far as the availability of Mike White for Thursday night. They listed him as a limited participant in practice yesterday, which is encouraging, but mm -hmm. uh, my understanding is Zach Wilson is the more likely starter for the Jets, just based on Mike White's health. I think if Mike White is healthy for the game, he's the starter. But I think what you're hearing from Robert Sala is it's still part of his job to coach Zach Wilson mm -hmm. uh, because he might need him, and he might need him the day after tomorrow. That's right. So uh, he has to make sure that, that his confidence is as high as it can be. Mar Marcus, your thoughts. I, I have not heard from you. I got yelled at yesterday by Dan Orlovsky and Ryan Clark. What were your thoughts on the performance of Zach Wilson on Sunday? Yeah, just hanging there. First of all, let me be honest, guys. All right, truth moment. I love your anguish, okay? I deal with this every damn week with the Cowboys, so I love the fact that you are emotional about this and it's bothering you because it because the Cowboys bother me mostly all the time anyway. All right, the second thing is this, G. The second yeah. thing is this. You'll get used to it. It'll be fine. Things will get better, hopefully. Okay? Hopefully. You get used to it. I've, I've been on this. I've been on this. I've been on this network now five years doing this show, listening to y'all beat the Cowboys to sleep, and also celebrating when they have success, G. Ride the damn roller coaster, okay? When you're going up, enjoy it. When you're going down, just say, I figured this was coming. Didn't know when it was coming, but I knew it was coming. All right, let me get to Mike White and Zach Wilson. Here's the thing, man. Mike White is a better football player. I think everybody. I think people have expressed that at this point in his career. We didn't bench Zach Wilson to your point. Zach Wilson benched Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson threw 16 touchdowns. I mean, interceptions. That's why you go to the bench. That's why you have to think about putting a guy in with some veteran experience when you got a defense this good that's going to keep you in certain games. This game here, this wasn't on Zach Wilson. This had nothing to do with Zach Wilson. I don't know what I overthought it with the timeouts mean. I need Robert Sala to clear that up. I mm -hmm. was overthinking. What were you overthinking? I, a seven-year-old, could have said, you know what? <laughs> you know what? If I want to play with these toys longer, I probably need to preserve some time so my mom and daddy will not leave my friend house. Okay, that's, that's well what said. they would say. They would they would hide. They would try to go with their friend. They would they would they would absolutely avoid their parents not to leave the house if they are playing with toys and they don't want it to end. Robert Sala had an opportunity to allow Zach Wilson for us to have a conversation about Zach Wilson making a final drive in order to kick a field goal for the New York Jets to have success. Instead, we're sitting here talking about a 58-yard missed field goal, and now the conversation goes back to Zach Wilson about what he can and cannot do. Dude made some plays. I'm hard mm -hmm. on quarterbacks. Y'all know that. But I'm not going to give Zach Wilson this one, and I don't think he deserves some of the vitriol that he's getting because of it. I think it all should be directed towards his head coach. I could have used you yesterday because I completely agree with every word you're just saying. I got yelled at. Final thought, Mike T. Well, I certainly lived that roller coaster in New York, so I agree with Swagoo. But <laughs> this is more complicated because he got benched not only for how we play against New England, but what he said after the game that he didn't let down the defense. Absolutely. It's more complicated, and that's why this is Mike White's team and what Salah said yesterday just fell short. Again, they play Thursday night in a game against Jacksonville. That means everything to both teams. Okay. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.